Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram and welcome to a Floss Tube Extra. I got my September box. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little bit, it's a little bit dinged up. It's a little bit worse for wear, but I finally got it. There was an issue with, um, Qantas's freight system. So all of the freight that was coming in wasn't able to be scanned. Um, so this is about a week and, week and a half behind when it was meant to be here. But I'm so glad it's finally here. I'm happy to deal with the dings because this box is gonna be incredible. Um, I'm going to film my regular floss tube back to back and I have like <laughs> stuff everywhere. I'm gonna move this off to the side. Okay, so the September box is Once Upon a Stitch. So as always, we get our little information card. Um, and in here there are spoilers. There is a lovely note from the ladies at the Black Needle Society. Um, the January box is Black Needle Society's three year anniversary and it is the best of BNS. So, um, People would have received, um, I don't know if it was by email or if it was on their, in their Facebook group, um, we voted on our favorite things from the past boxes. Um, and they're curating the most popular items from the past three years, which is super exciting. Um, the Black Needle Society has also created books with BNS. Um, and it is a book club. There is um, a Facebook group. It is a free book club. Book club. Um, I didn't join the first meeting because the book was the narrow. Um, it's not available in Australia. I managed to start it um, because of the lovely Amanda. Um, however, for me, it was a DNF. <laughs> I could not get past the writing. It was just, anyway, it was a lot. Um, on the back, there is stitch and read information. So books based on the theme. Um, originally this is where the photo challenge information went, but because of the changes in Instagram's algorithms, um, they couldn't see any of our photos. So that has changed. Um, and then also on the back as always is a spotlight. Um, and that is three photos from previous boxes. And this one is the um, buzzworthy stitching box. So we have Lainey in stitches, Lynn X stitches creates and Miss J Foxy stitches. Lovely. So cute. Those socks in that box are amazing. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to jump to the spoily bit. As always, we have wormies and the wormies are hiding something. So we're going to start we're gonna start with this. Okay, I need to I need to figure out where I'm putting these wormies. Sure. No one saw that. Um, so this is a little black velvet velveteen pouch that is tied in a knot. <sighs> can Liz untie a knot? No, she can't. <laughs> yes, she can. Um, okay, so this, this box, remember, is once upon, once upon a Stitch, so it is fairy tale themed. This is so cute. So this is the first thing in the box. And if you can see, it's got a little blue tinge. Uh, and this is Pinocchio's Wishing Star Charm. This is curated by the Black Needle Society. Hold this star close and make a wish. Use this charm on a fob, zipper pull, or necklace. It's so cute. It's got like got like a coppery you can't tell but it's got like a coppery edge to it so cute I love that I'm gonna put you back in here so I don't lose you love that all right <clears throat> next up nah, they're stuck together <laughs> is this lovely lovely pin set um, so these are Bell's counting pin set Designed by the Black Needle Society. Distracted by singing dishes while trying to count. Use these counting pins inspired by Beauty and the Beast to mark your progress. So we have the book. 
Mrs. Potts and Chip, and then the rose in the. It's called a cloche. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> the class. <laughs> I love them. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney princess. Belle is my favorite Disney princess. Therefore, her movie is one of my favorites also. Love that. All right. This is super cute. It's a little bit banged up from the state of my box, but nonetheless. Look at how pretty it is. Um, this is a Once Upon a Time ruled notebook designed by the Black Needle Society. Feeling inspired to write your own fairy tale? We've included this notebook for you to jot down any notes or musings that may strike you while stitching. And it's foiled. Like, I love it. It's so pretty. And it is, like, it's showing up, like, super purple, but it's more like a royal, royal bluey purple. I love that. So cute. So, so cute. Okay. Um, my specialty floss has a warning. Burn within sight. I'm pretty sure that does not belong with my specialty floss. It does, however, belong to this. So this is the uh, Snow White's Poison Apple Candle. Um, this is hand poured by Wick Wish Candle Co. It may smell delicious, but we definitely recommend you don't take a bite out of this Poison Apple Candle. We'd hate to see you lose all that stitching time while in an enchanted sleep. Um, so this is ripe apple, crisp autumn leaves, pomegranate seeds. And it's a soy coconut wax candle. That's real nice. Um, I love that. She's going to join my other candles on the shelf. Um, all right. The specialty floss that we don't want to burn. <laughs> um, uh, here we go. I'm going to put you with wormies. Um, so these are hand dyed by Rolanda. They are cotton. Um... Sleeping Beauty's Specialty Floss. These are made and hand dyed by Rolanda. Uh, Rolanda created this enchanting thread pack for, you, for our September subscribers. What magic will you make with these colors? So this is a magical curse. Like it's a green, green and black variegated. Love that. This is the Evil Queen which is a Snow White reference, <laughs> not a Sleeping Beauty reference, but I love this color. This is, oh, I can't, you can't, I can't even do this justice. It is like multiple shades of purple. It's just, oh, I wish I could do this justice. I love purple thread, but this is just stunning. It's, I can't do it justice. Stupid light. <laughs> Um, and the last one is, oh, this is lush too. This is True Love's Kiss. So this is a beautiful red. This is stunning. Love, love that. Love those. They're going to join my um, specialty floss. Literally all of my specialty floss is because of the Black Needle Society. Everything I have is either frog warts that I've purchased for the chart or stuff that I've got in these boxes. And they are amazing because we love them. Um, all right, needle minder. Um, as always, top's not sealed, so you can just pop it open. And I have missed the popping of these. <gasps> so satisfying. This is, and this is a chunky one. I love chunk, I love chunky needle minders. Um, oh, it's so, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, this is Cinderella's Carriage Needle Minder, artwork by the Black Needle Society. Don't lose your needles like Cinderella loses glass slippers. I mean, I've lost a lot of needles. Use this minder to keep them close when the clock strikes, strikes midnight and her carriage turns into a pumpkin. <gasps> I am obsessed with this. This is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. This is going on one of my Disney pieces because it needs to. This is so... <sighs> okay, I could just stare at that for ages. That is just so, so pretty. All 
Righty. All righty. All right. <laughs> okay. Next up is the fabric for this box. And this is Enchanted Forest by Forbidden Fiber Co. And this is a 16 count and an eighth of a yard. Um, so there's something about a forest and fairy tales that go hand in hand. What magic might you discover while stitching on this Enchanted Forest fabric? And now, if you haven't used Forbidden Fiber Co. fabric, it is amazing. It is phenomenal. I have a few pieces of Forbidden Fiber Co. fabric and I'm literally only, um, only using one so far because they're just, they're so nice. They need something super fancy on them. However, this would be perfect for my letters from Nora E or one of my Nora Halloween fairies. Actually... Or maybe the Summer Mermaid from Bella Filipina when that gets released. <laughs> Who knows? I love this. This is going to get used. She's beautiful. Love it. Love it. I am running out of room. Um, I am going to leave the big thing for last because holy cannoli. All right. Next up is the pattern in this box and that is the Frog Prince by the Primitive Hair. Um, once upon a time, there was a talented designer who created a frog prince pattern for the September BNS subscribers. We can't wait to kiss. We mean stitch this month's pattern. I love the primitive hair. This is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, it calls for DMC, some Krynik. And I want to say Gentle Arts. Yes, it is. It is Gentle Art. I had to double check. Um, beautiful. And it's stitched. The model is stitched on a 30 count old Salem linen by the Primitive Hair, which is amazing. Like her fabrics are also amazing. I don't stitch on linen, but they are phenomenal. Oh, I can't wait to start this. This is going to be okay. I want to start that. I don't have fabric, but I want to start that. I don't have ghast, but I want to start that. The climbing I have, that's not a problem. Um, okay, the next thing is in a plastic bag and it has tabs so we can rip them open without struggling. Oh, oh it's so pretty. Okay, excuse me while I freak out. But we have another cape. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I have a bunch of black needle blankets slash capes slotted around my house. I have one that I sit here at my desk when I work. I've got the <sighs> novels and needles. I've got Frog Wars Year 4 on my couch. Anyway, might need to switch it out with this one because this is beautiful. Um, so this is Red Riding Hood's Journey Hood's Journey Blanket. Listen, let's be real. Ross is going to model this. Um, <laughs> this is designed by Ellie Goldwine. Uh, off to grandmother's house you go. Bring along this blanket to tuck her into bed. But beware of the big bad wolf lurking in the forest. We think he may want to steal it for himself. Um, it's beautiful like look at those colors i can't see look at red anyway ross has a new cape to model which is literally the question he asks me every time there's a new black needle society box um i know my video is late because my box was delivered late however these items should be available in the vault My, my months of my months are thrown out. Anyway, should be available in the vault or on the 1st of November. Check the vault. No, I'm pretty sure they're in the vault because I'm pretty sure I'm like, if my box doesn't arrive, is this stuff? Um, as always, if you purchase anything from the Black Needle Society vault, use my code stitchbyliz5 to get yourself a discount. Treat yourself. There's a whole bunch of goodies in that, in that vault. Trust me, you want to go have a look. Buy yourself some things. Get a discount. Um... What was my favorite thing in the box? I don't know. It's hard to pick because fairy tales are my jam. Um, the Needlewinder is lush. 
The blanket is beautiful. Everything, everything is amazing. Um, I'm going to go show Ross this so he can model it for us. Uh, you know, Cape Ross returns. Um, and then I'm going to film my next video. However, the Novels and Needles box for next year has gone on sale. Um, if you want to participate in Novels and Needles next year, it is villains themed. Um, and our book, I believe, is A Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, I cannot wait. I love the book. I love the movie. I love villains. <laughs> Fairy tales of my jam. Anyway. Um, that is available uh, until the 31st of October or until sold out prior. Um, so if you want to join in that um, stitch and chat, um, buy the box. I've already ordered mine <laughs> because it's villains themed. Um, all right. The next box I should be getting is the trick box. Um, for Halloween, which I absolutely cannot wait. The designer for that is Lola Crow Cross Stitch, I believe. I cannot wait for that. Um, November's box is back to the 80s themed and it's my birthday month and I'm an 80s baby, so I cannot wait for that. Um, and then the nice list, which we know is gonna be a really fun time. So um, if you wanna see those unboxings and more, do all the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Bye. What is happening? You know, I mean, <laughs> I love a cape as much as an expert, but I can't get this. I feel like I'm choking. I feel like a little kid, you know, when they wear their first suit. I'm sorry, I, I was not filming your face. I was filming your daughter. You know, like when a little kid doesn't know how to wear its first suit and it just stands there awkward, like. <laughs> that's me right now. Just. I know, the box is old now, isn't it? No, it's not old. It's September's box. By the cape. It's cool. It's the other and side. It's, got the... it's the other side. I'll get to it eventually. It's got hair on it. Red. Riding hood. I'm gonna go visit grandma now.